fellow believers, the body of Christ. John 1, verses 12 and 13. But as many fellow believers as received him, Jesus Christ, to them he, God Almighty, gave the right to become children of God, God Almighty, to those fellow believers who believe in his name, Jesus Christ, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but who were born of God through the Holy Spirit. John 3, verses 5 through 8. Jesus answered, Most assuredly, I, Jesus, say to you, fellow believers, unless one is born of water, the natural body, and the Spirit, to the Holy Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God, God Almighty. That which is born of the flesh, the natural body, is flesh, the natural body. And that which is born of the Spirit, to the Holy Spirit, is spirit, the spiritual body. Do not marvel that I, Jesus, said to you, you, fellow believers, must be born again through the Holy Spirit. The wind blows where it wishes, and you hear the sound of it, but cannot tell where it comes from and where it goes. So is everyone, fellow believers, who is born of the Spirit, to the Holy Spirit. John 15, verses 18 to 21 and 23. Jesus said to him, If the world, Satan's world, hates you, fellow believers, you know that it hated me, Jesus Christ, before it hated you. If you, fellow believers, were of the world, Satan's world, the world, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, would love its own. Yet because you, fellow believers, are not of the world, but I, Jesus, chose you out of the world, therefore the world hates you. Remember the words that I, Jesus, said to you, fellow believers, A servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, Jesus Christ, they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, will also persecute you. If they, fellow believers, kept my word, the gospel of Jesus Christ, they will keep yours also. But all these things, they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, will do to you, fellow believers, for my name's sake, Jesus Christ. Because they, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, do not know him, God Almighty, who sent me, Jesus Christ. He, false teachers, false believers, and unbelievers, who hates me, Jesus Christ, hates my Father, God Almighty, also. Romans 8, verses 29 and 30. For whom, fellow believers, he, God Almighty, foreknew, he also predestined to be conformed in the spiritual body to the image of his Son, Jesus Christ, that he, Jesus, might be the firstborn in the spiritual body among many brethren, fellow believers, children of God Almighty. Moreover, whom he, God Almighty, predestined, these fellow believers he also called to be children of God Almighty, whom he called, these fellow believers he also justified, and whom he justified, these fellow believers he, God Almighty, also glorified, in our spiritual bodies at the being caught up together. Romans 12, verses 4 through 8. For as we, fellow believers, have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same function, so we, fellow believers, being many, are one body in Christ, the body of Christ, and individually members of one another. Having then spiritual gifts differing according to the grace that is given to us, let us, fellow believers, use them. If prophecy, let us prophesy in proportion of our faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ. Or ministry, let us use it in our ministering. He who teaches in teaching, he who exhorts, encourages in exhortation, he who gives with liberality, he who leads with diligence, he who shows mercy with cheerfulness. 1 Corinthians 12, verses 12 through 14, 18, and 27. For as the body is one and has many members, but all the members of that one body, being many, are one body, so also is Christ, the body of Christ. For by one Spirit, the Holy Spirit, we, fellow believers, were all baptized with the Holy Spirit into one body, the body of Christ, whether Jews, Jewish believers, or Greek, non-Jewish believers, whether slaves or free, and have all, fellow believers, been made to drink into one Spirit, the Holy Spirit. For in fact, the body, the body of Christ, is not one member, but many. But now God, God Almighty, has set the members, fellow believers, each one of them, in the body, the body of Christ, just as he, God Almighty, pleased. Now you, fellow believers, are the body of Christ, and members individually. Ephesians 2, verses 8-10 through 10. For by grace, God Almighty's amazing saving grace, you, fellow believers, have been saved from the lake of fire to second death, everlasting condemnation, through faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, God Almighty's free gift of salvation, not of mankind's works, lest anyone should boast. For we, fellow believers, are His, God Almighty's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for good works, God Almighty's good works performed through us, which God, God Almighty, prepared beforehand, that we, fellow believers, should walk in them. Ephesians 4, verses 3-7 through 7 and 11-16 to 16. 
endeavoring to keep the unity of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, in the bond of peace. There is one body, the body of Christ, and one Spirit, the Holy Spirit, just as you, fellow believers, were called to be children of God Almighty, in one hope of everlasting life of your calling, one Lord Jesus Christ, one faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ, one baptism with the Holy Spirit, one God and Father, God Almighty of all fellow believers, who is above all, and through all, and in you all, fellow believers. But to each one of us, fellow believers, grace was given according to the measure of Christ's gift, i.e. our spiritual gifts, and he, Jesus Christ himself, gave some fellow believers to be apostles, some prophets, some evangelists, and some pastors and teachers, for the equipping of the saints, fellow believers, for the work of ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all, fellow believers, come to the unity of the faith, faith in the gospel of Jesus Christ, and of the knowledge of the Son of God, Jesus Christ, to a perfect man, to the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ, that we, fellow believers, should no longer be children, tossed to and fro, and carried about with every wind of false doctrine through Satan, by the trickery of men through Satan, in the cunning craftiness of deceitful plotting through Satan, but speaking the truth, the Holy Bible, and specifically the Gospel of Jesus Christ, in love may grow up in all things into him who is the head, Christ, from whom the whole body, the body of Christ, joined and knit together by what every joint fellow believer supplies, according to the effective working by which every part fellow believers does its share, causes growth of the body, the body of Christ, for the edifying of itself in love. Colossians 1 verses 15 through 17. He, Jesus Christ, is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn over all creation. For by him, Jesus Christ, all things were created that are in heaven and that are on earth, visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers. All things were created through him, Jesus Christ, and for him. And he, Jesus Christ, is before all things. And in him, Jesus Christ, all things consist, all things exist. Second Timothy 2, verses 16 and 17. All Scripture, the Holy Bible, the Old Testament, 39 books, the New Testament, 27 books, for a total of 66 books, is given by inspiration of God, God Almighty, breathed in God Almighty, inspired, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness, that the man of God, fellow believers, may be complete, thoroughly equipped for every good work, God Almighty's good works performed through us. Fellow believers, as the body of Christ, we have one goal, to encourage everyone we encounter to acknowledge God Almighty's amazing saving grace and to accept God Almighty's free gift of salvation, which comes only through Jesus Christ. Luke 12, verses 35, 37, 8, 38, and 40. Then he, Jesus, said to his disciples, Let your waist be girded and your lamps burning. Blessed are those servants, fellow believers, whom the Master, Jesus Christ, when he comes at the being caught up together, will find watching. And if he, Jesus, should come in the second watch, or come in the third watch, and find them fellow believers so, i.e. watching, blessed are those servants, fellow believers. Therefore you, fellow believers also, be ready, spiritually alert, for the Son of Man, Jesus Christ, is coming, at the being caught up together, at an hour you do not expect. Fellow believers, Jesus Christ abides within us through the Holy Spirit. Therefore, Jesus Christ walks with us, the Holy Spirit teaches us, and most importantly, God Almighty watches over us, always. May our Lord Jesus Christ find you going about the Father's business, which is sharing the gospel of Jesus Christ as a good and faithful servant. Amen.